battlefield. This matchup's mostly just like who can get a laser and utilize that approach in neutral. Um, Warmer's also pretty experienced in the Falco Dodo. Oh. The jab. Oh my god. That was a sick refresh too. Core smash? Oh, down. Down here. He gets the kill either way. And he starts off the set. Actually, he's been playing this color. He's a neutral. So uh, he's been playing red as his backup. And pretty much here, you just want to avoid anything that will like combo into uh you're gonna get sent off stage no matter what at that i like high percent medium percent uh it's just about not letting them get a string into a guaranteed follow-up and good that was good di by haas warmer still gets a, a back air in yeah if you laser somebody like that by the ledge uh like right before they grab ledge again then they'll almost always be holding a direction before they grab ledge and if you hold direction before you grab ledge then you're gonna automatically jump when you go into input ledge dash so that's where tournament winner just always comes in play so if i was warmer here i would like really take my time with finding lasers in neutral and just uh try to like just take my time finding opening so that way i can actually build more percent like 50 percent and the falco is really good actually very surprised haas knew that he wasn't gonna grab ledge there because Falco beats Crouch Cancel. His shine and his, and his down air are very good for that. Very good read. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't down smash quick enough. And Haas likes to do that double jump uh, land with the down air. Down smash. And he's also getting a lot of shine on his shields. Good read, but he doesn't convert. It seems like... Alright, it's so a forward smash. He could have ult attack that and then grab ledge. Um, Warmer could have also responded. That was bad. I think he should have tried to back air that. He did get the full hop in the drift too. Yeah, so Warmer's not really lasering, I noticed, because he's losing the laser battle so far, but they're both just jumpers. They both just spam jump. Uh, which can be very good in most matchups because it throws people off. Oh, the down air. And, oh, that was kind of risky. I mean, it wasn't, like, because uh, he waited for him to up B, but it, he up b like, right at the end, like, right. Like, he, he went for the down air before Haas up b And, I mean, up b was his only option, but he could have drifted a little bit away. He could have jumped back. That was good. Uh, he DI'd it so he wouldn't get forward smashed. Up tilt and sh shine on top platform almost always leads to a forward smash. Oh, he reads the jump again. They, they're literally playing against their their self, their own worst enemy. And he reads the jump, or he reads the roll in this time finally, because Haas has been uh, rolling in a lot. Uh, I would just double laser from ledge since he's lasering in the middle of the stage instead of uh, trying to challenge the laser itself without a laser. And these platform follow-ups have been so good for Warmer. Uh, he's just getting, like, it, it looks like Haas isn't really DI'ing uh, the down air or the shine. Because you can DI the down air so that the shine doesn't connect. And then if that doesn't work, then you can DI the, the, wait, you can DI the down air so the shine doesn't connect the first one. And then you can DI the shine so that you don't get zero to theft. Oh, he should have went to stage instead of ledge there. It looked like he could have made it back but didn't expect Haas. All right, and they're also not really going for like huge hits. Um, nice, huge hits. They're just like, it looks like they're just scrapping. Like uh, if I was playing Falco, when I play Falco Dodos, ooh, gets the shine again. Oh shit, that was so fast. He just...